what's going on everybody 915 mang here doing a video today just wanted to go ahead and show you the quality of how i'm looking at in my roof tank i've been having quite a bit of problems i'm not even gonna lie but hopefully you know what i'm gonna try to do is gonna work you know i'm having right here lots of little algae you know it, it just like kind of hit my tank really hard uh, it kind of seemed like it was like overnight my GSP um, is not opening up the green star polyps some of my zoas um, are not opening I got the red slime going on right there um, and it's been like that for quite a bit uh, it's really ugly and that's the good thing about you know checking in here in my videos is I'm gonna show you what the tank looks like on the good and the bad and I'm gonna show you all the ugly and and what I did to go ahead and uh, combat it I don't know if it's actually gonna work but man this is looking pretty rough right here on my mp40 pump my SPS also took a hit as you can see I had some pretty cool SPS that I picked up and even like my red digis my Montes and all that also started taking a hit i got this like ugly green slimy green hair algae i think it's a, a number of things but what i'm going to go ahead and do is i picked up some chemi clean uh the reason i picked up chemi clean um is because i started up doing more water changes i try to make it um better for me like as far as getting out as much as uh the nutrients as i could I think water changes are great but i want to hit up uh with chemiclean basically for those of you who do not know it's basic one scoop per 10 gallons of water that you have in your aquarium so it's always best to go ahead and, and undershoot that i have a 150 so i i went ahead and then i did um like 10 um scoops which would be you know for 100 gallons of water um the treatment goes it's like anywhere from 24 to 48 hour treatment and then once you're done you're supposed to go ahead and do a 20 percent water change the company that is using this that makes this product is boyd enterprises they're the same exact people that do the chemi pure um, media bags the chemi pure blue um, so they make you know red slime but i um, removal and all that good stuff so I basically trust these guys it's not my first time using them I've used them quite a bit and now this might be like a kind of a bandage you might think of but at the end you're still doing a, a water change now um, with the zoo is not opening up I was reading like articles on the forums and all that saying that there could be like some kind of um, like jelly type of films on your zoas which is keeping them from opening up uh, this stuff it seems like as soon as you put it on the tank it kind of like nukes it makes everything like super clean and that's what kind of what I'm hoping for um, my zoas have not been opening up at all and I was kind of worried about them uh, because I don't want them to die because I have so many nice uh, different kind of zoas right here as you can see they're all over and they're all basically closed up huge colonies of them closed up so what i'm hoping is that uh, maybe this will fix it you know this is a pretty rough time for me on my tank just because like i've never been challenged like this where things are not opening up and i'm worried about you know the color uh, i can see a lot of people getting out of the hobby when uh, things like that happen you know i lost a lot of cool SPS as you can see I have green hair algae growing on them but I'm just gonna keep going you know my tank will bounce back eventually I kind of thought about doing like a 100% water change kind of like reset everything kind of getting back to the basics like I said in my last video but you know I'm gonna try this I'm also gonna change out my water filters on my RODI mainly the di resin and i'm going to tell you straight up um, my tds with the ro unit was not 
zero on the output it was kind of creeping up to like maybe a hundred you know 40 40 to 100 and something TDS but I don't really think it was that big of a deal but like I said and getting back to the basics I bought some uh, mixed DI resin I'm going to hit the last two stages of this this will help me uh, quite a bit and then I'm also going to change out the membranes on my uh, RO unit so I can go ahead and start uh, making you know good zero TDS type of water now I have the two RODI membranes that I'm going to change out. I'm going to change out this one and my number one. And I'm also going to change out the second membrane and my number two. So this should hopefully give me like a fresh start. I'll just keep doing water changes and water changes and water changes until we eventually get there. I'm not going to do quite a, I'm not going to do like big, large 100% water changes, but I'm just going to make it back to the basics where you do them weekly till I start getting them down and then from there I'll, I'll go ahead and start doing them every two weeks now on this one I'm gonna do like 15 gallons and I'll just keep doing it until we get there eventually um, as far as the salt that I'm using I'm just using the instant ocean reef crystals it's cheap um, I think it'll get me to where I want to go and as far as with the chemi clean i took off the collection cup on the skimmer i kept the protein skimmer running i took out any carbon and all that so that it, um, the chemical can be effective and also so i can keep uh, more oxygen in the reef tank i am systematically hitting whatever i can to try to solve the problems basic change out your rodi water filters and to remove that slime i'm doing that chemi pure so I hope you guys like this video. Let's see what happens in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.